Yeah. Sorry, I'm a pain in the butt. <coughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Bye. online and we had a long distance relationship from New Zealand to America for three years, almost three years before we closed the distance. And we closed the distance through the K-1 visa process. So we completed that process and we got married on the 20th of May and we moved on to the next process which was adjusting of status from fiance visa to uh, permanent resident or green card. We are currently in that process. And yesterday I had my biometrics interview for my work authorization as well as for my green card or adjustment of status, AOS. And that was interesting. I almost got turned away. So what happened was I went in, my appointment was at eight o'clock. I was at the Naperville, Illinois, um, Application Support Center, which is two hours away from where I actually live, but it's the closest one to where I live. I was there, and I was the third person in line. Um, my appointment, like I said, was at 8 o'clock. I was the third person in line. They opened the doors about two minutes past 8, and the first two people, we stood in the line, first two people were seen. She asked for the application, not the application, sorry, the appointment letter, as well as a form of ID. First, it went in without a problem, and it came to me. She asked for my appointment letter and my ID. And then, because I had been filling in my forms, my application forms with my married name and my passport, which was my only form of identification, apart from my driver's license, which is an international driver's license from New Zealand, my passport had my maiden name on. So, there was a discrepancy in my two last names, and they had asked for my marriage license. I did not take my marriage license with because I was under the impression it was not needed. A lot of the research that I had done had said that I don't need a marriage, my marriage license with me, I just need the appointment letter and a form of ID. The application, I can't say application, <laughs> I mean to say the um, appointment letter had also stated you need a form of ID which would include a driver's license, a state ID, passport or social security number. Um, social security card, sorry, and the appointment letter. So I took my passport and the appointment letter, but this didn't work. So she took my appointment letter and my passport and handed it to, this is the security guard, the security lady. She handed it to the lady at the reception desk and the lady said, okay, just put it down. Told me to sit in the waiting area. They let everyone behind me go in um, till about 8.30. Everyone that had been there, it had been 8.30 and my stuff was just sitting on the desk the entire time. So, 8.30 she picks it up and I, I'm guessing she went onto, the, onto a different computer than the one that she'd been initially working on, looked at it and then goes into what, what might have been a supervisor's office or something, I don't know, but she goes into office, speaks to someone, comes out, calls me and says, yes, um, we're sorry, we do need your marriage license and we know that you've traveled from you know two hours away so can you please get us a copy um maybe is there someone back at your house that's able to scan a copy of your marriage license email it to you and you can go to staples which opens in half an hour's time to get it printed and then we'll see you luckily um because i needed to scan my marriage license to send it to the bank uh, to get a bank account here or get a joint account with my husband here in America. I had a copy with me in my email, but my husband did not go with me. My mother-in-law and my husband's aunt had gone with me to the to do the biometrics. So I gave I emailed it to them. They had been sitting at Starbucks at the time waiting for me while I was at the application support center. I emailed it to them and asked them to print it. Staples was already open. It didn't actually open at 9. It was already open. So they went and printed it. And there was initially an, an issue getting it printed at Staples. Because 
it wasn't really it wasn't coming out clear so they had tried to find someone there to darken it which they eventually got in right and I didn't get the stuff from Staples till 9 30 which is almost an hour later I went back to the application support center showed them she just looked at it okay your husband's surname is so and so and then she, she handed the forms back to me made me fill out a form which asked for things like my name my race eye color weight height those sort of things I filled those all out <clears throat> I mean my number was called like five minutes later not even five minutes later I went over took photo had my fingerprints done and then they gave me a customer service feedback form to fill in, popped it into the box, and I left. And that was my experience at my biometrics. I'm pretty sure had I had my marriage license with me initially, I would have been in and out of there in like 10 minutes. I would have been done before, way before um, 8.30. But I wasn't done until about 9.40. It was okay though. The, the people who worked there were very nice. They were extremely accommodating because of the discrepancy with my name they could have just turned me away and said no you have to go back and get your marriage license we can't help you today and I'd made the two-hour trip up because my appointment was at 8 in the morning and driving up close to Chicago that early from where we were I meet mean, we would have had to have left extremely early in the morning to, to beat traffic well, we would have been stuck in traffic, but to ensure that I got there on time. So, we actually ended up spending the night in Naperville so that we would be able to, you know, not be rushed the next morning. So, to be, if I had to have come back to get that letter and then drive back up for the appointment, it would have been <laughs> absolutely nuts, crazy. So. I'm really grateful that they did not tell me to do that and they said it's okay just have a copy scanned. My husband was at home, he didn't come with, so had, well he was at work, so he could have easily have just come home and get a copy, get the marriage license, make a copy, scan it to me, had it come to that, but we did have a copy with us, so thankful for that, but that was my experience. Overall, they were super helpful, super friendly, the lady who was at the reception desk um, who, who reached me about 9.30 when I, when I returned back with the papers. She was, was really, really sweet. She spoke to me about her son and asked if I had any children and, she, and how old I was and I must be very young, da 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 all those sort of things. She said I was the first New Zealand person that she'd ever come across um, applying for green card at the Naperville office, but it could just be her, you know, I'm pretty sure they've been other New Zealand people. So, that was my experience, it was, it was, it was overall a good one, apart from the little scare where I thought, oh no, I came all this way for this, my mother-in-law brought me, we spent the night at a hotel, and what, like, at that very moment when she asked for my marriage license, I was scared, I was like, oh no, I, this cannot be happening right now. We want things to move along because they're taking, like, it's taking long, and but that did not happen. So, yeah, biometrics is pretty simple, pretty easy, not much to it. But as a full warning, if you're going into your biometrics in the near future and you've changed your name to your husband's name, or if you're in the K1 process getting your um, green card, and you have changed your name, take your marriage license with you, even if. People and forums say you don't have to, even if the appointment notice says you doesn't actually list it as a thing that you need, you do need it with you. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about our K1 journey um, and now this AOS journey, then let me know. I'm the next step for us is to wait for the appointment for the interview for Nicholas and I. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. There's some people who've actually had some really speedy turnover. So we're hoping for the same, of course. But we will keep you up to date and I will let you know how the interview goes when that time comes. Hopefully sooner rather than later. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye.